Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Bob Woodward isn't a left-wing hack. He didn't deceive or betray anyone to get access to the White House. And while his methods have drawn scrutiny and criticism in the past, his reporting on power has been the gold standard ever since he and Carl Bernstein broke Watergate. That's why his new book Fear appears, ironically, to have struck such fear in the heart of its subject, President Donald Trump. Of all the government and media institutions and players Trump has attacked since he first launched his campaign for the presidency in 2015, Woodward could be the toughest to discredit. There's even a Trump tweet for that. There's a war on truth by him, Woodward said on the Today Show Monday morning, adding that the president's former lawyer, John Dowd, concluded Trump shouldn't testify in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia probe because he can't tell the truth. Disregarding his own observation, Trump has launched a sustained attack on Woodward and the book, which hits stores Tuesday. It is a total fraud, Trump said on Air Force One last week. The book that was written was fiction. I don't speak that way. I'm highly educated and always did well. There's reason for Trump to worry. This detailed account shows a president whose own advisors are desperate to protect the American people from the chaos he creates, and makes it clear that the biggest obstacle facing the president's agenda is often the president himself," said Michael Steele, who was an aide to then-House Speaker John Boner, R. Ohio. Steele worked extensively with Woodward when the author was reporting for The Price of Politics, a book about President Barack Obama's dealings with Congress. While there will be a tendency in Washington to treat the book as a warmed-over reiteration of long-understood dynamics within the administration Trump's top lieutenants see him as both an idiot and a danger to the country the book is powerful both for giving a unique Woodward credence to the narratives of authors Omarosa Manigault Newman and Michael Wolff and for new nuggets that could turn off Trump voters, particularly those who sided with him but are not part of his solid block of about 35% of voters.